Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be looking at an energy vocabulary and concept review. So every time you see a blue screen, that's going to be either a vocabulary word or a key concept that you need to figure out what the definition is or the fact is. So you can pause the video before you listen to the answer. Okay, here we go. Our first one, potential energy. So you can go ahead and you can pause right now and then I'm going to tell you the answer. All right. So potential energy is energy in storage or position. So there's three different types of potential energy. If you guys remember, we have gravitational potential, which is just energy of position. So how high up is it? Right. We have elastic potential, which is going to be about expansion and contraction. And then we have chemical potential energy, which is energy in storage to use later. Next word, kinetic energy. Go ahead and pause. So kinetic energy is just energy in motion, and this can look like anything. As long as it's particles that are moving around, which is just matter that's moving, it is kinetic energy. Next one is forms of energy. Now there's lots of forms of energy. Try to figure out if you know them all. Here they are. So we have chemical energy. A good example would be food or something to eat. It's going to be in storage, right? Mechanical energy. This is the one that's potential and kinetic or or right potential or kinetic so jumping on trampoline is a great example electromagnetic which is just another way of saying radiant or light energy so anything off the electromagnetic spectrum um, sound energy is going to be vibration of particles so noise right um, nuclear energy fusion and fission uh, this naturally occurs in our stars electrical energy or the flow of electrons um, and then thermal energy which is just going to be about particles in motion and how many particles there are. The law of conservation of energy. Do you remember what it states? It states energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. All right. Next one, energy transformation. Let's see if we can get some of these energy transformations. So some that you can do um, chemical. If we were eating an ice cream, that ice cream is chemical energy and it can be transferred into mechanical energy when we go and jump rope, right? Electrical energy, if we plug in a stove, that can be transformed into thermal energy to heat up our food. Conduction. <clears throat> Conduction is a transfer of heat by direct contact, which is touching, right? Um, between objects or particles, so this example is me holding a hot coffee. That hot coffee is going to transfer the heat from direct contact of my hand touching the mug, right? So it's gonna go from the hot mug to my cool hand. Radiation. And radiation is just heat transfer through space, right? It's usually through empty space for that matter. Now this can mean something like um, outer space, right? All that empty space, but it can also mean something like empty space between a fire and yourself. Okay. So yes, is there air there? Yes, there's absolutely air and particles there, but remember, um, it can travel through that air as well. Convection. And convection is just heat transferred by the movement of molecules within a substance. And this is definitely current. Um, I do want to remind you that convection can only take place in a fluid. So it only can take place between a liquid or a gas. Convection cannot take place in a solid. And this is the one all about heat rising and cool falling. So um, a hot air balloon is a great example of that. Endothermic and exothermic. Do you remember which is which? So endothermic, remember my little door? Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, go check out that video. So endothermic, the heat and energy come into the system, okay? So we're adding heat or absorbing heat into our system. And then exothermic, it's going out the exit, right? Out the exit. So heat and energy are leaving the system. Uh, so heat and energy is released. States of matter and phase changes. Can you remember them all? Okay, and just a quick reminder about our states of matter. So we have solid, liquid, gas, and plasma that's not shown here. But remember, plasma is just going to be your free-floating ions that are just charged particles, right? 
So if we start with gas, you can see that our gas particles are very spread apart. Um, they have very high energy and they're moving around. Now, if we go from that to a liquid, we're condensating and the liquid will become, uh, the particles are closer together, right? Um, their energy is not quite as high as a gas and they're literally just sliding past one another at this point. Now, if we go from a liquid to a solid, we've be um, become frozen and those particles are now extremely dense, extremely close together, and they're just literally vibrating in place. Now we can do this whole cycle backwards, right? We can go from a solid to a liquid, we call that melting, a liquid to a gas, um, and we call that vaporizing, and then a gas to a liquid, and we, I mean, sorry, a gas to a solid, and we call that deposition, right? Um, now I did color code these for you guys so you could review which one is endothermic and which one is exothermic as well. Next one is temperature. So temperature is a measure of average kinetic energy. Now you can do this in different units. You can do it in Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin. Thermal energy. And thermal energy is the total energy of the particles in a substance. And our units for this are gonna be joules with a capital J. Just a side note, you guys, remember that thermal energy um, can be cold or hot, right? So this is just how many particles there are versus how fast they're going. So even something cold like ice still has thermal energy, um, even though we don't consider it like hot, okay? Heat. So heat is a transfer of energy from warmer to colder, um, and we do measure this in joules. Occasionally you'll see it measured in calories, but most likely it will be in joules with a capital J. And this is where we have a cold substance and a hot substance. They start to mix together. Um, they're gonna create that little current that you see. And eventually it will reach what we call equilibrium, which is where the entire substance is now the same temperature. I hope this was helpful, you guys. All right. So now that you've seen this video, if there was any key concepts that you feel like you need a little extra help on, I have videos on every single thing here. So go back, find the video, go ahead and give it a watch. Um, subscribe to my channel to see lots more, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Bye, everybody.